Britain has already voted to leave the European Union, but this very historic exit process will take approximately two years to be completed. This was the indication given by the British Ambassador to Ghana, Gregory Quinn. So until that formal leaving is negotiated in two odd years' time, the UK remains a member of the European Union with all of the rights, all of the obligations and all of the responsibilities that brings. And that includes contributing to the EU budget and contributing to EU development funds. Britain has had more than 40 years of good relations with the European Union and all of its member states. The UK has been one of the most free-handed countries as it relates to the handing out of visas. The goal and the desire will be to maintain that ease of travel for those who hold UK passports to as many different places around the world as possible. EU member states have for years benefited from hassle-free travel into the UK. The country's vote to exit has bothered the British government so much that the Prime Minister even resigned. Surveys have shown that a large chunk of voters did not quite understand the UK's involvement in the EU and resorted to Googling it after they voted to leave. The Prime Minister and the government policy at the moment is the decision has been taken and that is the decision that will be implemented and that's it, full stop. According to where we are at the minute, there is no turning back. One of the arguments put forth by supporters of Brexit was that the EU allows too many immigrants into the UK. This is quite bothersome to the UK envoy here, since he says that Britain has always been a tolerant nation. The history of the UK is of a country which is multi-ethnic and multicultural by sheer definition because it's impossible to actually find someone in the UK who is not, you know, got not, has not got some connection to somewhere else, for want of a better term. My wife, um, part of her family is originally French, that came over presumably after 1066. Part of her family comes from Poland and, and Ukraine. Part of her family comes from Ireland.